If we could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. The human soul develops up to the time of death. Declare the past, diagnose the present, foretell the future, practice these acts. As to diseases, make a habit of two things to help, or at least to do no harm. A wise man ought to realize that health is his most valuable possession. The art has three factors, the disease, the patient, the physician. The physician is the servant of the art. The patient must cooperate with the physician in combating the disease. The function of protecting and developing health must rank even above that of restoring it when it is impaired. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. Even when all is known, the care of a man is not yet complete, because eating alone will not keep a man well. He must also take exercise, for food and exercise while possessing opposite qualities, yet work together to produce health. The greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it. Illnesses do not come upon us out of the blue. They are developed from small daily sins against nature. When enough sins have accumulated, illnesses will suddenly appear. Foolish the doctor who despises the knowledge acquired by the ancients. All excesses are inimical to nature. It is safer to proceed a little at a time, especially when changing from one regimen to another. Natural forces within us are the true healers of disease. Everyone has a doctor in him or her. We just have to help it in its work. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. Our food should be our medicine. Our medicine should be our food. But to eat when you are sick is to feed your sickness. Make a habit of two things, to help, or at least to do no harm. The human body contains blood, phlegm, yellow bile and black bile. These are the things that make up its constitution and cause its pain and health. Health is primarily that state in which these constituent substances are in the correct proportion to each other, both in strength and quantity, and are well mixed. Life is short, art long, opportunity fleeting, experiment uncertain and judgment difficult. Cure sometimes, treat often, comfort always. Our food should be our medicine and our medicine should be our food. Health is the greatest of human blessings. Whenever a doctor cannot do good, he must be kept from doing harm. All disease starts in the gut. The wise man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings. The physician treats, but nature heals. It's far more important to know what person the disease has than what disease the person has. The natural force within each of us is that greatest healer of all. Leave your drugs in the chemist's pot if you can heal the patient with food. 
Opposites are cures for opposites. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. Just as food causes chronic disease, it can be the most powerful cure. Things that are holy are revealed only to men who are holy. Prayer indeed is good, but while calling on the gods, a man should himself lend a hand. Physicians are many in title, but very few in reality. To really know is science, to merely believe you know is ignorance. Rest as soon as there is pain. Those diseases which medicines do not cure, iron cures. Those which iron cannot cure, fire cures. And those which fire cannot cure are to be reckoned wholly incurable. To do nothing is sometimes a good remedy. Men think epilepsy divine merely because they do not understand it. We will one day understand what causes it and then cease to call it divine. And so it is with everything in the universe. Sport is a preserver of health. Everything in excess is opposed to nature. Get knowledge of the spine, for this is the requisite for many diseases. Nature itself is the best physician. Each of the substances of a man's diet acts upon his body and changes it in some way, and upon these changes his whole life depends. Walking is a man's best medicine. We must turn to nature itself, to the observations of the body in health and in disease to learn the truth. All parts of the body which have a function, if used in moderation and exercised in labors in which each is accustomed, become thereby healthy, well-developed and age more slowly, but if unused, they become liable to disease, defective in growth and age quickly. Old people have fewer diseases than the young, but their diseases never leave them. The way to health is to have an aromatic bath and a scented massage every day. Divine is the task to relieve pain. The patient must combat the disease along with the physician. Wine is an appropriate article for mankind, both for the healthy body and for the ailing man. Silence is not only never thirsty, but also never brings pain or sorrow. He who wishes to be a surgeon should go to war. Fat people who want to reduce should take their exercise on an empty stomach and sit down to their food out of breath. Thin people who want to get fat should do exactly the opposite and never take exercise on an empty stomach. Healing is a matter of time, but it is sometimes also a matter of opportunity. It is better to be full of drink than full of food. There are in fact two things, science and opinion. The former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. Your foods shall be your remedies, and your remedies shall be your foods. The physician must be able to tell the antecedents, know the present and foretell the future, must mediate these things and have two special objects in view with regard to disease, namely, to do good or to do no harm. 
Look to the seasons when choosing your cures. The forms of diseases are many and the healing of them is manifold. The chief virtue that language can have is clearness and nothing detracts from it so much as the use of unfamiliar words. From nothing else but the brain come joys, delights, laughter and sports and sorrows, griefs, despondency and lamentations. Where prayer, amulets and incantations work, it is only a manifestation of the patient's belief. Who could have foretold from the structure of the brain that wine could derange its functions? the life so short, the craft so long to learn. I have clearly recorded this, for one can learn good lessons also from what has been tried, but clearly has not succeeded, when it is clear why it has not succeeded. The brain of man, like that of all animals, is double, being parted down its center by a thin membrane. For this reason, pain is not always felt in the same part of the head, but sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other, and occasionally all over. For extreme diseases, extreme methods of cure as to restriction are most suitable. For extreme illnesses, extreme treatments are most fitting. Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.